Welcome to the seventh tutorial on ASGamer. We'll be focusing on registering hit tests. Go to hincom.com slash ASGamer and we click on the seventh tutorial, registering hit tests. We scroll to the bottom of the tutorial, download the zip file and extract it. Open the flash file and once you open flash we import the uh, class files within the subfolder. Hold down shift open all of these. We can see that we have quite a few class files now. Open. Okay, I actually run the program. Control enter to see what this is about. And if you look at the output in the bottom here, when the spaceship gets hit, it says hit me, hit me, hit me. And then whenever the spaceship gets hit again with various multiple bullets, it's going to say hit me again. Hit me, hit me, hit me hit me, hit me, there you go. So I'm going to close this. You can even go to your output panel and go right click clear if you don't want to see all that spammed up. So as I play this um, game, uh, I notice that uh, there is a stinger bullet and we have to take care of the actual collision. When it collides with your main ship, there's also some kind of implosion effect, some kind of yellow type of explosion. So that's uh, what we'll be studying. So let's go to the Stinger Bullet class and take a look at this uh, loop function which is called every single frame. So what's different from the last time? We have this if statement, if hit test object target dot hit. Okay, so when we're calling the hit test object uh, function, we're speaking from the perspective of the bullet. So if the bullet itself, the stinger bullet, the, monster, the enemy's bullet, uh, hits this thing, uh, then we're going to say trace, which is like a print statement, hit me, use, useful for debugging. Now what is target? Target is the reference to our ship. So th we, were, we were passed in this when the stinger bullet was constructed. We were given the target to the ship, the connection. Now what is target.hit? Let's refresh ourselves by clicking on the actual flash file. So here if we go to the library in the FLA file, the flash file, you can right click ship, or actually you can double click ship, the movie clip here, pow pow. And if you click on the ship, you'll realize that we're clicking on this blue symbol here. There's a nice faint blue box. Go to properties and you see that, there, that there's actually a movie clip inside of this ship. So basically it means that we know that the bullet collided with the ship if that bullet collides with this particular square box. So if you hit the edge here, the, the tips of the wings, it's not considered a collision. Whereas if you uh, hit test uh, object with this uh, hit movie clip, this movie clip inside of the ship, that's considered a hit. Let's go back to the Stinger Bullet class. So once it says hit me, <clears throat> we also uh, add, add a child. We basically draw on a new small implosion object. So that's the yellow explosion. And uh, we dynamically create it, an instance of it using the keyword new. So we're actually slapping it on on the fly. We're creating it and we're initializing it with some values. Well, we're just passing the stage reference so that it, we can connect it to the stage and we're passing in the x, y values of this particular bullet. The, the x and y, these are blue variables because they're reserved and this, they correspond to the this, this stinger bullet's x and y position. And then finally, the stinger bullet itself calls remove self, which we talked about before. So what's new here in the small implosion? We have a constructor here and this code is similar to what we've seen before. Somehow uh, we uh, call this um, loop function every single frame. And while we're playing the small implosion uh, movie, if the current frame is equal to the total frames, and these are these two variables uh, properties are are blue. It means they're they're special and reserved. And Flash understands what they means. It means that if the current frame, starting at frame one, two, three, four, reaches the end of the actual explosion animation, the total frames is the last frame. Then we're going to remove self, and which is the same code as we have seen before. 
So we finish by clicking back on your FLA file, Basics 1, and then if you go to your library, notice how there is this implosion uh, movie, uh, movie, uh, movie clip, and we see that the implosion here, if you double click into it, uh, you see that uh, this uh, movie clip it starts off as a small yellow circle and we have a nice shape tween here and it's just uh, starting off big, it's a bit hard to see because this is white but somehow it starts off big and then it gets smaller so it implodes and this is the situation on frame 5 where the current frame is equals to the total number of frames just as a little refresher, if you go to your flash file, you go to the library, if you right click implosion, go to properties, just notice how uh, the actual movie clip here is connected with the class files. So this implosion is connected to com.asgamer.basics1.smallimplosion. The small implosion with a capital S is the exact spelling of your class file, your uh, AS file. And the reason why we have to have these dots is because that's the subfolder that we buried this class file into. I can say the same for laser blue. Right click laser blue, go to properties, and this is the pattern we see. Com AS Gamer Basics 1 laser blue. If in the case where uh, this uh, class file is located in, in the same folder as this FLA file, uh, there would be no need for this uh, uh, first initial part. We're almost done. Good job. Keep up the good work.